Seed in tutorial. How to top up in Seed in through GCash. And if you are new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. From our previous videos, pinakita namin kung paano mag-register, paano mag-invest, um, magkano yung ilalago ng perang in-invest natin, and paano mag-top up through BPI and BDO. For this video, ang gagawin naman natin is mag-top up tayo through GCash. Very convenient and madali lang yung process, lalo marami sa atin na sanay na or gumagamit na talaga ng digital wallet like GCash as mode of uh, bills payment, pagpapadala ng pera, and pambili sa mga stores. Um, kung bago ka sa GCash, may mga tutorial videos kami about it, you may check the link at the end of this video. So, going back, magka-top up nga tayo gamit ang GCash and this time, cellphone na yung gagamitin natin. Sa mga nauna kong videos, ang pinakita ko doon is yung website ng uh, Seedin. That's ph.seedin.tech. This time, uh, nag-install ako ng Seedin app sa cellphone ko. You can download that Seedin app sa Play Store or App Store. So, ito na yung Seedin app na na-install ko sa cellphone ko. So, I'll open this and log in. So, I'll click this login button. And I'll enter my email address and password kasi ito yung pinag-register ko. Kung nag-register ka gamit yung Facebook, click this button, log in with Facebook. So, I'll enter my email address. And click log in. After makapag-log in, ito yung homepage na makikita mo sa mobile app. May mga um, news dito or current events about seat in. And for this video, kailangan natin mag-top up. Uh, through GCash. So, dito sa bandang baba, click Profile. And then, currently, ang available funds natin is 500 pesos. Uh, meron na tayong invested funds na 30,000 pesos. And the total net payout after 6 months, yun kasi yung uh, pinondan kong project, 6 months yung duration, magiging 31,785 na siya. Ngayon, kung mag invest tayo, mga galing to sa available funds, uh, currently nga, uh, 500 pesos siya. So, dadagdag ako siya na another 500 through GCash. So, I'll click this top up. And for payment type, uh, may mga selection dito. Click itong drop down button. And click mobile wallet. There are a lot of options here. Merong coins.ph, merong WeChat Pay or Alipay, and merong Union Pay. For this video, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, I'll pay or I'll top up using GCash. So I'll choose that and I'll enter here 500 pesos. Um, it depends on yung kung magkano yung gusto mong i-top up. Uh, for this tutorial, 500 lang muna i-transfer ko. So click the submit button. Let's just wait na mag fully load siya. So, I'll check this. I agree to the terms and conditions. Ito yung amount. Meron ding request ID. So, click ko tong GCash icon to proceed. So, importante na hindi mag-refresh yung page. Hindi din ma-disconnect yung signal. So, make sure na stable yung internet connection mo when doing this transaction. After clicking continue, you will be redirected to GCash to complete your purchase securely. So, I'll click continue. So, I'll just... And I think... Kapunta na ako sa GCash, yes. So, I'll enter here my mobile number sa GCash. So, important na may GCash ka na rin. After may enter your mobile number, click next. Um, enter the PIN code and click submit. Then enter the M PIN ng GCash mo. And click confirm and pay. And by the way, meron kami video on how to create a GCash account. You may click this i button to watch that video. Kaya importante na hindi dapat uh, ma-disrupt yung signal. So, let's just waiting for the confirmation. So, it says successful at 
here's the amount, here's the transaction reference number, here's the merchant's reference number. Importante na i-take note mo tong mga reference number na to. Just in case na hindi ma-transfer successfully yung money sa seed in or hindi mag-reflect sa available funds mo, you can raise a concern sa GCash or seed in para mag-file ng dispute or ma-refund yung pera. So, if I'll open my GCash, Uh, 525 siya kanina, nag-825 na lang. So, nadedock na yung 500 sa GCash. Um, after a few minutes, nakareceive din ako ng email about the payment transaction. So, I'll open my CDN app. And go to profile. So, kanina 500 to. Dapat maging 1,000 na to. Dahil nag-top up tayo from GCash to CDN. So, it's still 500. So, i-check ko sa mismong website nila. So, I'll open my browser. Here's my Google app. So, I'll open a new tab. Go to seat in. And I'll sign in here. So, after makapag-sign in sa website, uh, click My Account, followed by My Dashboard. And sa app, 500 yung available funds ko, pero nung nag-check ako sa mismong website nila, uh, 1,000 pesos na siya. Um, dito sa website na ph.seedin.tech, 1,000 pesos na available funds. While for my seed in app it's still 500 so pumunta ako ng home page balik ako sa profile and it's trying to reload the page and ito na nag-appear na siya as 1000 pesos dito sa seed in app na din and that's it. Uh, today, nakapag-transfer naman tayo from GCash to SeedIn. Uh, naghintay lang tayo ng few minutes para mag-reflect sa wallet natin yung um, payment from GCash. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. And you may also check these videos. I hope na makatulong to sa inyo. Especially if you want to grow your money online. And this is Lou from Invest Library. We invest, we share, you decide. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.